So today I'm going to show you something you should never do. Clean a coin. It's been said that we learn from our mistakes. The purpose of this video is to have you learn from my mistake so you don't repeat it. Never clean a coin. The coin I plan to clean today is a 1900 Morgan silver dollar. It's in uh, AU50 condition. It's a little bit dark because of its age, part of the reason. The red book value of the coin is $39. After I clean it, it'll be worth much less. Why would it be worth less after I clean it? It'll be brighter, it'll look nicer. Coin collectors want the appearance of the coin to match the condition of the coin. If a coin is bright and shiny, but obviously worn, something's just not right. It's unnatural. Coin collectors want the appearance to match the condition. Here's an analogy to help you remember this. Have you ever been to the beach? And you've seen older people in swimsuits that were designed for people in their 20s? Something's just not right. It's unnatural, just like a coin that is clean. Right. So let's get to it. Let's, this is a liquid, and we will dip this coin in the liquid for probably about five seconds. I'll do half the coin so you can see the difference. Oh, before I dip it, let me tell you a story. A local coin shop owner told me recently that somebody came into a shop and they brought a number of coins in to have them valued. And they said they had cleaned them before they brought them to the shop because some of them had some tarnish marks on them. They said even one had like a rainbow stain on it. But not to fear, they cleaned the coins and they look shiny now. Now if you're a coin collector, this kind of story just breaks your heart because you wonder, what would that 1800s coin with the rainbow stain have looked like before it was cleaned. We'll never know. Now, to be fair to the person who brought the coins in, they just didn't know. That's a reason for this video. We need to help people understand that are interested in collecting coins, that cleaning coins isn't something that we do. It's not good for the coin. It lowers the value of the coin. Think of it this way. Friends don't let friends clean coins. Hey, that sounds like a bumper sticker. Let me know if you want one. I'll have some made up. Okay, back to cleaning the coin. Let's take the coin and dip it for about five seconds. We'll do half the coin. Okay, that should be about right. And then we'll tap it. Hey, that's pretty dramatic. Let me get this close to the camera so you can see it. See if we can autofocus here. Look the difference that made. Wow. Okay, now let's look at the uh, reverse. Pretty dramatic difference, isn't it? All right. I'll complete uh, dipping the coin to do the whole coin, and then I'll take a picture of the before and after, and I'll include it somehow in this video to show you. But one last step I'd like to do after I completely clean the coin is we're going to take it to a coin dealer. I'll get a couple pictures now, though, half cleaned. I'll be right back. Okay, now we'll dip the other half. Okay. All right. There's still a line on the uh, 
reverse. Maybe I didn't leave it in quite as long as the uh, first time. There we go. So let me dip it just a little bit more. See if I can get rid of that line. Yes, uh, that cleaned it even more than the first time. If you look at it, see the top now appears dirty since I have the bottom cleaned even more. Okay, and I will uh, try to post some photos of this also so you can see the before and after. Now to complete this uh, demonstration, let's do one more thing. Let's take our cleaned coin to a local coin dealer and see what he thinks about it. Okay, here we are okay, at my favorite so coin shop in Northeast Ohio. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, how's hey, it for you? Hey, I've got a real nice Morgan Silver dollar here. I'd like to know what you think about it. It's a nice coin, but it was a lot nicer before it was cleaned. Well, what do you mean? Well, if you look at the coin closely, you can tell that there's significant wear on the coin. And when a coin is worn like this and has this much brightness to it, it, uh, it usually means that it's been cleaned. Oh. So if we sent this off to a third-party grading service, it would come back uh, with a details grade. What, what, what does details mean? Details, whenever a grading company grades a coin details, it means there's something wrong with the coin. Either it's been cleaned, damaged, uh, corroded, um, yeah. And what would that do to the value if it comes back details? Uh, it could, could as much as cut it in half. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Did you clean this coin? Yes, I did. You should be ashamed. Remember, friends don't let friends clean coins. Oh.